Good morning. This is Florida Plant Mama coming to you from Zone 9B, well, recently rezoned to 10A, Central Florida. This is my Christmas haul, or Christmas gifts rather. I got a new Vigo garden bed. Vigo better sponsor me after all these garden beds I'm getting, but I really do like them. This is going to replace a uh, decrepit old table that um, was my first garden. It's kind of sad to let it go, but um, it's falling apart. I'll show you here in a second. I've already started the work and then remembered oh i'm supposed to be filming this my daughter keeps getting at me because she's like i'm i'm a fake youtuber because i don't film most of the events and activities performed in the garden so here we have it it is december 31st we're getting ready to go into the new year so i wanted to start the new year fresh um with uh kind of reorganizing the garden fixing what's not working improving on or or bettering what is working um figuring out what it is we want to plant this year what i what we actually eat as a family as opposed to growing all these cool things and then they go to waste because uh i'm the only one who'll try them so i'm gonna get a lot more efficient in 2024 that's the plan anyway um i'm going to grow specific things that i know we will eat um in abundance as opposed to novelty items. Um, we've got a little gladiola that decided to start opening now. Isn't that pretty? So I still got some pops of color here in December. Still got some peppers going. So this is the garden's current state. Still pretty lush. It was cold last night, um, but we have not yet received our first frost in this area. Um, so I'm, this is a good time to kind of prepare and clean up so that when it is time to cover, um, I have an easy time of it. Um, look at here. This is the corn that I had been growing for the fall. Okay. So this is not exactly a success. However, um, I know what the problem was. I started too late in the fall. Um, so they didn't get a chance to really mature before the temperature started to drop at night. But this is the decrepit table that I was telling you about. Look, it's got a serious gangster lean, y'all. Look at this. Okay, can you, can you appreciate the lean on this table? Look, it's twisted. Oh, it's just in sad shape. The boards are coming apart. This was my first initiation to the gardening world. I had this table out on the patio and I just grew a couple of things just to see if I had at all any bit of the green thumb. So to, uh, this is the uh, ginger, ornamental ginger. It's still um, pretty green. Okay, so what I'm doing is emptying this. I took out a lot of plants. Here is a pile of uh, oregano, uh, chives and I've got some yarrow over here and um, uh, oh I can never remember the name of this thing <clears throat> the minute I start filming purslane got it got it got it okay so purslane and then over here I have my I don't know three-year-old thyme plant oh you better believe she is getting replanted in the new bed once it's in so the plan here is empty out this bed remove it from this space, put the new Vigo bed there. But before I put the Vigo bed there, I'm going to put down um, some wire mesh as well as a layer of cardboard. Um, I plan to do that to all of my in-ground beds um, and raised beds because I've found that I've got a mole or vole or something um, that likes to dig up underneath and create tunnels. And it's a problem in some of the other areas. And I just, I, if I can prevent it in my raised beds, then that's what I plan on doing. Um, we've got this section here, which is looking abundant. I had to um, <clears throat> uproot an asparagus fern that was over here. It was taking up too much space. And look, I've gained some real estate. Um, spinach, you guys, look. This is my own planted spinach in Florida. I am going to call this a success because I have had such a hard time 
getting spinach to thrive when I grow it. I'll get it to a certain point and then it will get decimated by insects. So I am really proud of that spinach. And then the turnips and I've got um, a bunch of uh, the brassicas over there. And in here, this, this little guy doesn't look like it's doing so good. This is, I believe, either a cabbage or a broccoli. But I did disrupt that area and it was cold last night and it is pretty little. So once I empty this out and start with the layering, I will let you see how it looks. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I took great care to remove the soil um, because it's still good soil. I just amended it for the fall season and um, I plan on amending it again and pretty much refilling the new bed with it. No need to waste good soil. So now, can you see the state of this bed? I took the lining out, boards missing, pieces falling apart. I mean, this thing is on its last leg, but it did me so good. I mean, as an initiation to gardening, it was definitely worth it. I learned a lot with just this small space. Gave me the confidence to go a little bit bigger, just a little bit. So I'm gonna get this out of here now, uh, hopefully with the help of the hubby, and then we can put in the new bed. All right, so got the bed out. I busted it apart, broke it in pieces. I'm actually gonna use these pieces of wood um, for the base um, so that I can do like a hugel culture and not have to use so much soil. Um, I am first lining this space here with uh, cardboard. Then I'm going to put over like a wire mesh. Then I'll put the boards, then I'll put the bed. Change of plans. Mesh first, then bed, then cardboard. All right, it's in. So now the filling and the cleanup begins. Okay, cardboard and the old table have been placed inside. Now it's time to fill it with all this yard waste and then soil. All right, guys, so I cleaned up a bit for you. I did not get to all of the projects that I wanted to get to today, but I did what I really wanted to do, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so look, I got a little baby corn harvest. Aren't those the cutest little things? No, they're not supposed to be this small, um, but I did plant them um, pretty late in the season, and um, I had them covered for a while. I just wanted to see if I could actually grow them, and I did. And I'm gonna do it the same way for the spring. I'm gonna do it early spring. Um, I may even start them inside. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll cover them just like I did to keep the bugs away. And hopefully uh, my harvest will be a lot bigger than these tiny little corns. But anyway, I cleaned up for you guys. This is what it's looking like now. A little bit more neat. All right, I like it when it looks tidy. Okay, and here we go. Look, that gladiola that I showed you earlier this morning is still, it's, look, it's opening up a little bit more, still trying to open. All right, and here we go. There it is. There's the new bed. What do you think? I absolutely love it. I went ahead and uh, transplanted back in the purslane that I had in the, um, in the table and also a couple of calendula. I transplanted those as well and some um, bunching onions. Um, I don't know if these calendula are gonna make it, but it's worth a shot. They had a pretty good root ball, so I'm hoping they kind of recover from the shock of being transplanted. I moved uh, others back there. So I transplanted the yarrow, and um, I think it's Brazilian um, oregano. I think so, but if not, I, I'll correct it in the, uh, in the little notifications below. And, um, and I transplanted the other back there. You can see it's flowering even after transplantation uh, is another uh, 
calendula back there. Can you see the flowers on it? So I transmitted those uh, yesterday morning and they're settling in. Uh, th this one, this uh, oregano, it's oregano, it's oregano, German, German oregano, Brazilian oregano, oh, one of those oreganos. This here, I transplanted this uh, here this morning and it's still looking quite perky. So this bed has been cleaned up nicely. Okay, and then this is the new table. And then of course, I had, had to bring back my beautiful thyme plant. I pray that this baby does not suffer from the transplant because I've had this plant for years. It's looking so pretty and so full. I watered it in nicely, gave it a, I mounded the dirt really high on this bed because I know it's gonna sink. Um, my other bed, even though I went back and fixed sinkholes, has also begun to sink. Um, it's, it's expected because there's so many air pockets between the uh, uh, wood shavings and sticks and branches and leaves and things that, and cardboards and things that I put underneath so I wouldn't have to use so much soil. This is where the corn was. I will plant some sweet potato slips in there and then I'll probably put the corn in this bag once the broccoli in there matures. I took down the um, cranberry hibiscus that was here just because I wanted to let in a little bit more light and clean the space up a bit so it's not looking so overgrown. Um, the You can see my um, bok choy has bolted in some places. My Tokyo Beckon is doing great. I've got a bunch of other greens in here. Some of them are starting to bolt. Tatsoi is right there. So I'll clean up these beds and um, I may replant some of the greens, but I'm gonna harvest all of these and replant these beds very soon. Thanks for watching. And I hope you uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Florida Plant Mama. Have a wonderful new year. I hope 2024 treats everyone kindly.